Hello, my name is Lynn Wainwright, and I'm about to do um, my video for syllabication um, for my assignment for the Phonics First Certification. I'm gonna turn the camera down now so that you can actually see um, my paper that I printed out with the words um, that I'm going to be syllabicating. And I also have my syllabication cards ready for handy reference. Um, and so I guess we're ready to get started. Okay, let's see, let me move out one more so you can see the whole page. Okay, starting with the first word, um, the first thing I do is look for my first vowel and underline and mark it. I noticed that my first vowel is a vowel team, so I'm gonna underline both E's and mark that with a V. And then when I move out to find my second vowel, I notice that it is a diphthong, so I'm gonna underline both of those letters, A, W, and mark that as a vowel. Then I'm gonna draw my bridge and I'm gonna label my consonant. And I see that I have the VCV pattern. So I am going to draw the dotted line to syllabicate right after the vowel before the consonant and see how that works. So now my first syllable would be an open syllable and my second syllable would be a diphthong syllable. So when I go back to read those syllable types, my first syllable would read C, and the second syllable, saw, seesaw. So those would be the correct ways to separate that word into syllables. Okay, the second word, I'm doing the same thing. I'm looking for my first vowel. I'm gonna underline it and mark it with a V. I am Moving out across the word and looking for my second vowel, I'm gonna underline it and mark it with a V. Then I'm gonna draw my bridge and I'm gonna label my consonants. I have two consonants, so it's the VCCV pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate that right between the consonants. Then I'm looking out um, for my next vowel and I'm gonna underline it and mark it with a V. And I'm noticing that it is part of the magic E pattern. I'm gonna go ahead and draw my bridge. I'm going to mark my consonants. I notice that I do have a set of consonants, TR, that I'm gonna to scoop together. So I've got another consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel pattern, and I'm going to split it between the consonants. I'm gonna um, go back and mark my syllable types now. My first syllable is closed, my second syllable is closed, and my third syllable is a magic E syllable. So reading those, it would be concentrate, concentrate. Okay, moving on to the third word. I'm gonna find my first vowel, underline it, and mark it with a V. I'm looking for my second vowel, and I notice that it is a diphthong, so I'm gonna underline both of those letters and mark that with a V. Then I'm gonna draw my bridge and mark my consonants. There's one consonant, so it's the VCV pattern. I'm gonna draw a little dotted line after the vowel separating the vowel from the consonant vowel. And now I am going to label my syllable types, my first syllable is an open syllable, and my second syllable is a diphthong syllable. So reading those syllable types, it would read as profound, profound. Okay, my next word, I am looking for my first vowel. I'm going to underline and mark it with a V. I'm gonna find my second vowel and underline and mark it with a V and I'm gonna draw my bridge, and I'm gonna label my consonant. I have the VCV pattern, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw a dotted line after the first vowel, and then I'm moving out to find my next vowel. I'm gonna underline it and mark it with a V, draw a new bridge, and mark my consonants, and I now have the VCCV pattern, so I am going to break those syllables between the consonants. I'm gonna go back now and label my syllable types. My first syllable is an open syllable. My second syllable is a closed syllable. And my third syllable is also a closed syllable. 
So when I go back to read those syllable types, my first syllable would read may, second syllable jess, and third syllable tick, may jess tick. Now that doesn't sound quite right, but it does sound like a word that I know, majestic, which tells me that this first syllable should be a schwa. So I'm gonna mark out the open, and I'm gonna draw my little upside down backwards E to mark that first syllable as a schwa syllable, and I'm gonna reread that now as majestic, majestic. Okay, moving on to my fifth word, I'm going to find my first vowel, underline it, and mark it with a V. I'm gonna find my second vowel, underline it, and mark it with a V. I'm gonna draw my bridge, and I'm gonna mark my consonant. I have a VCV pattern. So I'm gonna draw my little dotted line after the vowel. I'm gonna move out to my next vowel and I notice that it is a bossy R pattern. So I'm gonna underline both of those letters and mark it with a V. Draw my bridge and I've got two consonants on the bridge. So that's a VCCV pattern. I'm gonna separate right between the consonants. I'm gonna go back now and label my syllable types. My first syllable is going to be an open syllable. My second syllable is closed, and my third syllable is a bossy R, okay? So when I go back and read that, my first syllable would read as Psy, second syllable Lin, third syllable Dur, Silender. Okay, that does not sound right, so I'm gonna move that dotted line over and separate after the consonant in that first syllable. And now I'm gonna go back and reread and my first syllable would be sil, second syllable in, third syllable dull, cylinder, cylinder. Okay, now I'm gonna start on this last word and I notice first off that I have a suffix at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and circle that suffix and I also have a consonant L-E syllable in this word. I'm gonna go ahead and circle that also. Um, and I'm gonna look back at my notes from the syllabication lesson. Um, Okay, yeah, that's right, so got that. Um, looking at marking my first vowel and I'm not sure because none of the examples that we used only had one vowel before the consonant LE. So I'm really not sure if I label that as a vowel pattern. I don't think I do. I'm just gonna go ahead, since I know that it is a separate syllable all on its own, I'm gonna go ahead and break this first syllable right before the consonant EL, and then I'm going to draw another syllable line right before the suffix. So then my first syllable would be closed. My second syllable is a consonant LE and my third syllable is a suffix. When I go back and read that, it's gonna read as gentleness, gentleness. Okay, I think that's it, thank you.